Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Edmund Mindaros, and for today's quick tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the session 1, Initialization failed Blue Screen Error Message you are experiencing on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this error message that's accompanied by the value of 0x0000006 d it indicates that the initializations of the Microsoft Windows operating system failed. And generally speaking, this initializations failed is caused by incompatible drivers, system incompatibility, memory conflicts, corrupted system failed, and bad six stores on the hard drive. Alright, so without further ado, and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to open up on search menu. And then dito, I type mo nang yung CMD or ito yung tinatawang na command prompt. And then next, I can have mo nang mag-right click. And then select mo nang dito yung run as administrator. So dito sa administrator command prompt, I can have lang natin enter yung command keyword na SFC space slash scan now. So one word yung slash scan now and press mo lang yung enter. Okay, so makikita mo dito ng beginning system scan. This process will take some time, beginning verification space of system CAD. Kailangan lang natin itong hintayin na complete yung verifications into 100%. Okay, so makikita mo dito na verifications 100% complete, right? So, ang next command keyword na kailangan natin enter ay, enter lang natin ang DSM space slash online space slash clean up dust image space slash Restore health and then kailangan natin i-copy and then next I paste lang natin dito and then press mo lang yung enter So ulit, kailangan ulit natin itong hintayin na complete ang verifications into 100% Okay, so makikita nyo dito na the operation completed successfully Alright, so the restore operation completed successfully Okay, so ang next step ay cross lang natin tong CMD and then dito sa start menu, kailangan lang natin mag-restart. Okay, so gano'n lang po kasimple kung paano natin i-fix ang session 1, initialization, build, BSOD, and Windows 11 or Windows 10. Okay, so please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.